happy people i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be doing a really quick set of press on nails um i haven't quite decided what design i want to do but i am going to be using some new gel polishes that i got in from madam glam you all know i'm a huge fan of me some madam glam polishes let's hop into what colors i received so these are the colors they did let me pick um five more colors so i'm gonna go ahead and pull all of these out Okay, so the first color that I got, actually, there's six colors here. Um, I'm noticing that one of the colors I picked, I'm assuming that it was out of stock, and so then they sent me two and in place of it. So that was really kind and nice of them. And they also were kind enough um, to send me over their no wipe top coat. You guys, I've been dying to test this out. I've heard a lot of good things about it. So this is the Madam Glam no wipe top. Let's actually start with that one. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you all already know I love the consistency of these polishes. So this is what the No Wipe Top Coat is looking like. I cannot wait to use this. And then the first color, so these are the replacement colors they sent me. This is Perfect Silver, okay. You can never go wrong with the silver color and this is really pretty, look at that. Wow, and yeah, that's a nice silver color. Also in place of the other color I chose, they sent over Crystal Clear which is a weird name for a blue, but it's cool because it's kind of like that jelly um, color. Um, and I think this would be really cool to do like maybe like some stained glass nails, All right? So that's really pretty. The Big Apple, okay? And I was absolutely obsessed with this color when it came out a couple months ago. And y'all, oh, look at that green, oh my gosh. It just looks like a color you would almost wanna eat. Like it just, it's such a pretty green. Super bright, super vibrant, very, very beautiful. So I picked that up. And then I wanted to get some staples for my collection. So I did go ahead and pick up a really popular uh, nude from Madame Glam, which is XOXO. I heard that this color is actually similar to C Swing and Sung from Nail Reserve. And so that's one of the reasons I picked it up. And look how gorgeous this nude is. Absolutely beautiful. Wow, yeah, that's gorgeous, okay? Got that one. And I wanted to get a really nice red and a really nice yellow for my collection from Madame Glam. So this is perfect red, okay? And that's what that looks like. Yeah, that's pretty. This is like a really, like a boss diva red. Very gorgeous. It's definitely like perfect. <laughs> so we got that one. And then the last one I have here is Perfect Yellow. Y'all know yellow is my favorite color. And I have a few yellows, but I feel like I don't have a good yellow that's like an everyday yellow. Most of the yellows I have are kind of mustardy yellow. And so, oh yeah, look at that. Yeah, this is perfect. This is exactly what I was looking for. Kind of wanted just like an everyday yellow that I could just throw on anytime and be good to go. So I'm definitely loving that. So I am gonna go through and swatch all of these colors. The first color I'm gonna swatch here is the perfect yellow because you know, yellow is my jam, all right? Oh yeah. This is like a nice, vibrant yellow. Yeah, this is great. I love this. Okay, cool. Really happy I picked this one. Y'all know the consistency of these polishes are absolutely amazing. Self-leveling, not too thin, not too thick. Perfect, so I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. I'm gonna go in with the Big Apple because it's such a beautiful green color. Yeah, that's nice. Wow. Yeah, I love it. Okay, cool. This is a beautiful green. I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for 60. Okay, happy people, I am really loving the colors that I picked this time around. Um, Y'all know I just, I absolutely love Madame Glam gel polishes. They're really creamy, really opaque, um, just really high quality polishes. They're also really clean, you guys. They're vegan, they're cruelty free, palm oil free, 21 free, toxin free. It's just a really good brand overall. I do have a discount code with them. I will leave that here on the screen as well as in the description box below. But let's take a closer look at these colors. So this is what all the colors are looking like after they've been swatched. I did go in with two coats of each color. So the first color we have here is Crystal Clear, which like I said, it's this really beautiful kind of stained glass, like jelly blue color. Um, I feel like I could do some really cool nail art with this. So yeah, I really like this color. It's really pretty. Next color we have here is Perfect Red. And I must say this is a very sexy red. Like just, it's giving diva status, boss vibes. It really is the perfect red, I love it. Next we have XOXO, which is this really, really beautiful um, nude color. It really puts me in the mind of Sea Swing and Sung from um, 
what is it nail reserve and it actually really um, is pretty close to I believe this is brown orchid I have on my hand from Lissette's gel nails and I must say it's a pretty pretty spot-on dupe for it so yeah I really like this nude a lot perfect silver which is a really beautiful lovely silver color it's a pure silver no hollow or anything like that awesome for nail art I have this gorgeous yellow it's just a really beautiful nice vibrant everyday yellow love it and then last but not least is this beautiful vibrant bright green color It's the big apple absolutely love this color as well so I am gonna go ahead and go in with some nail art I'm gonna be doing some press on nails for this set and yeah just a quick update I'm not gonna be taking my nails off but these are some nails I did last week if you all are curious about how I got this look I'll leave a link down in the description box below this is a quick one week update on how my Lissette's gel nail products are holding up they're holding up good so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and hop into this press on set I'm gonna be going in with my extra long square nail tips um, the first thing I'm gonna do with this is to to file off this little tab here that's at the top of all of the nails. So I decided to do an abstract nail art design. I feel like I haven't done any abstract nails in a while. These are the colors that I plan on using. I'm gonna go in with the Big Apple, Perfect Yellow, this Perfect Silver, and XOXO and do some abstract nail art. So I'm gonna go in with XOXO on all of the nails and I'm going to um, do two coats of it. When applying my gel polishes on press on nails, I do like to start towards the middle of the nail and go towards the free edge and then flip the nails around and finish at the cuticle area. And that prevents any pulling at the free edge and cuticles. So this is what the nails look like after two coats of the XOXO. This is just an absolutely stunning nude color. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in with my abstract nail art. I'm going to be using these two colors here to create the design, Perfect Yellow and the Big Apple. And so what I want to do is, this is going to be a very quick and easy design. And I guess I'll start with my index finger. I guess at the tip of this one, I'm going to go in with yellow. Okay. And the easy thing about this is because it's abstract, that means it doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm going to go in with it here at the tip and just kind of draw the line. I'm going to get a little bit closer here. And I'm just going to kind of draw a line like so. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect and I'm just gonna fill it in like this. And then next I'm gonna take the big apple color here at the bottom corner and do the same thing. So I'm just gonna do maybe something like this. Okay. And then I'll fill it in. And once that's done, I'll go ahead and cure for 60 seconds. And I'm gonna repeat the same process on all the nails, just kind of alternating, having the yellow at the bottom and the green at the top. So, again, I'll just take this yellow nail here, the yellow color, the perfect yellow, and at the bottom here, I'll just do like squiggly lines. Oops. I'll just do like squiggly lines like this, just to fill in the bottom here. I repeat the same thing on this nail here. Let's see. Like so. Yep. And that's it. And that's it, you guys. So I'm going to repeat the same thing on all of the nails. Okay, happy people. So I had a really hard time designing on what design I was going to do for this week. So I did hop on Instagram to look for some nail inspo and I found this photo right here. And this is where I got the idea to do my easy abstract nail art. And so yeah, I'm curious to know um, next week, what designs do you all want to see from me? Um, that way I can kind of have an idea and start planning on what design I maybe want to try to do for you all next week. Um, so just drop that down in the chat and or in the comments down below. Alrighty, so this is what the first coat of all of the colors look like. I'm going to go ahead and go in with the second coat just to build up the opacity of each nail. So what you want to do is you'll just want to follow the outline that you did initially and just go ahead and fill that color in just to bring out the opacity. So 
is what all the nails are looking like after two coats of coverage. Now I'm going to go in with Perfect Silver. And I'm going to use that just to outline the, um, I guess, the abstract part of the nails. So I'm going to take just a little bit of this on my mixing palette here, like so. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my liner brush. I believe I got this liner brush from Shein. It's a really good brush. And then I'm just going to go through, literally just outline the the abstract design like so so I really love the simplicity of this design it looks like it was something that was very intricate and hard to do but as you all can see this was something I was able to do in like you know almost like five minutes like I love that it didn't have to be perfect and so yeah um I'm curious, I wanted to ask you all, have you all had any um, creator's block lately? I feel like I've been having a hard time coming up with what type of nail designs I want to do. So I just want to know, am I alone in that or are other people experiencing creator's block as well? I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments because it's been a struggle these last couple weeks coming up with some um, cool designs. So yeah, this is how the design is looking so far. Alrighty, so this is what all of the nails are looking like. Super duper cute. I'm loving how it's turning out. So last thing left to do is to go in with my no wipe top coat. I'm super excited to be trying this out for Madam Glam. I'm going to apply this to all the nails, all my cuticles, apply my press on nails, and we'll be back with the finished look, okay? Alright, you guys. Ain't she cute though? Yes, baby. I am loving the way that my abstract nail design turned out. Like it is super duper cute. I'm loving that yellow tip with that lime green. Oh man, that yellow and green looks so good together. So yeah, y'all final thoughts. Y'all already know how I feel about Madam Glam. Um, big shout out to Madam Glam for sending these products over for review. I love, love, love using these um, nails, not only for making press on nails, but for doing any type of nail designs, any type of nail art. You guys, this stuff is top notch. Um, if you all are interested in getting any products from Madam Glam, I do have a discount code. I will leave that link down in the description box as well as here on the screen if you guys are interested in getting your hands on any of the Madam Glam products but yes I am loving it and yeah what do y'all think about my Manny I know this is like summertime okay like the weather out here in the south is getting warm again and so I'm already ready for the bright fun colors let me know what you all think down in the comments below bonus footage I decided to leave in this short clip showing you all how I remove my press on nails after I'm done filming and taking my photos and I also didn't give my thoughts on that no wipe top coat, you guys. I absolutely love it. It's kind of in competition with my other favorite top coat, which is from Beatles. But yeah, that's how I take my nails off. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Thursdays in particular are my Nail Therapy Thursday premieres where I tune in live with you all as you watch me do my nails. And if you all like what you saw here, definitely stick around, join the happy family. I'd love to have you. And as always, you guys, leave some love in the comments down below. And I'll see you in my next video. I hope you all have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!